The Navy's USS Sioux City was officially commissioned back in November, and today the USS South Dakota receives the same honor. Reporter Tina Daytel gives us a sneak peek inside the submarine before the celebrations kick off. Usually the crew of a newly commissioned submarine run onto the boat, but frigid temperatures are keeping this crew under the heated tent for Saturday's ceremony when the USS South Dakota becomes the Navy's newest submarine. It is the 17th Virginia-class fast attack submarine. And it can carry some serious firepower. News 8 got a look inside the nuclear-powered sub, which will have a crew of 19 officers. Every state room has three racks in there. And 123 enlisted sailors. This is where we feed the crew, uh, commonly known as cruise mess. There are a lot of personal touches around the mess hall, murals of Mount Rushmore and other scenes from the Coyote State. It really brings a, a touch of home, um, makes it feel like South Dakota. Culinary specialist Chris Petticourt is one of four South Dakotans on board. So this is the heartbeat of the ship. This is where we come to unwind um, and also get a good meal. If the guys want a snack, I usually have food out all the time for them. Personal touches and high-tech advances. This control room has been reconfigured to be much more flexible and much more open. One thing you won't see in this control room are those periscopes you used to see in the movies, and that's because they don't have them anymore that come through the pressurized hull. Instead, they have a digital camera up top and a controller like you might have at home. We can use a standard Xbox controller to control all the functionality of our periscopes. Like all submarines, storage... On a submarine, space is, uh, space is limited, so we got to make space out of everything. And quarters are tight, but so is the crew. Amazing. I'm super proud to be a part of this crew. Senior Chief Matt Blankenship is from New Canaan, Connecticut. This kind of experience is not one that, uh, you know, goes lightly. It's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience for most sailors. Once commissioned, South Dakota will continue sea trials to be ready for its first deployment in 2021.